severe aortic stenosis and TAVR transcatheter aortic valve replacement. A minimally invasive catheter-based procedure, TAVR is now the first-line therapy for severe aortic stenosis patients who cannot withstand an open-heart surgery. The biggest benefit of TAVR is reduced hospital stay and quick recovery after the procedure. In this video, we will learn more about heart, aortic stenosis and possible treatment options. The function of heart is to pump blood. Human heart has four chambers, each having its own valve to make sure that the blood flows in right direction. Aortic valve The valve has leaflets which open and close during each heartbeat. In some heart diseases, the valve does not open or close properly, disrupting the blood flow to the body. This may lead to valve leaking and is called as valvular regurgitation. Another form of valve disease is valvular stenosis that commonly affects the aortic valve. This is also known as aortic stenosis and occurs mostly due to calcium buildup on the leaflets leading to stiffening of the valve. Severity of aortic stenosis The aortic stenosis severity increases with age and can be classified as mild, moderate and severe. The stiffening prevents the valve from opening fully, which reduces or blocks the blood flow from heart to rest of the body. Patients with aortic stenosis typically feel chest pain or tightness in the chest, dizziness, shortness of breath, fatigue, fainting, irregular heartbeats, swelling of ankles and feet. If you are suffering from any of these symptoms, consult your cardiologist immediately. The Diagnosis and Severity of Aortic Stenosis Your doctor will ask you to undergo tests like echocardiogram, CT scan, stress test, ECG, blood test, heartbeat monitoring, and clinical examination to determine the severity of aortic stenosis and its further management. There are two types of treatment options for severe aortic stenosis. 1. Surgical Aortic Valve Replacement SAVR. 2. Transcatheter Aortic Valve Replacement TAVR. Now let us learn more about SAVR. This is an open heart surgery. The patient is placed under general anesthesia. The chest is cut open and a heart-lung bypass machine takes over the job of the heart. The diseased aortic valve is removed and placed with a new valve surgically. The heart functioning is then restored. If needed, an electric shock is given to restart the heart. Finally, the breastbone is closed and the skin is stitched. TAVR or TAVR An alternative to surgery TAVR is the latest technology in which the patient may be placed under anesthesia or just sedated. The heart is not stopped and it continues to beat throughout the procedure. At the beginning of the procedure, the doctor will make a small incision in the groin. After creating an opening in the femoral artery, a large artery in the groin, a short hollow tube called sheath will be inserted. Through the sheath, the doctor will insert a flexible guide wire all the way up to the aortic valve. The guide wire will then be pushed through the aortic valve opening into the heart chamber. The doctor will use this guide wire to pass a balloon catheter through the aortic valve. The balloon on the tip of the catheter will be inflated to widen the opening in the aortic valve. After deflating the balloon, the catheter will be removed. The replacement valve or my valve consists of tissue leaflets surrounded by a strong alloy frame. The valve has a unique hybrid honeycomb design which allows it to be precisely positioned at the natural aortic valve position. This accuracy of positioning gives unmatched device success and much less pacemaker rate compared to the other available technologies. The replacement valve is crimped in place on the tip of another catheter. 
this catheter will be passed through the aortic valve under X-ray imaging. The new valve is precisely positioned over the diseased aortic valve and the balloon is inflated to get the valve open. After deflation, the new valve will start functioning immediately. The catheter and guide wire will be removed. At the end of the procedure, the sheath in the groin will be removed and skin incision will be closed. TAVR is a minimally invasive procedure and has lesser trauma and quick recovery time as compared to open heart surgery. This novel interventional procedure is performed in the cath lab where coronary angioplasty and stenting is routinely performed. After the procedure, most of the patients get discharged in 2-3 to three days. They will be back to their normal routine life soon. TAVR procedure eventually help patients to live longer and celebrate life. To know more about TAVR, visit your nearest cardiologist or healthcare practitioner or visit www.myval.com